What's going on guys, Connor Wells here. Welcome back to the channel. Today is vlog day, it is a vlog day. I've been really, really consistent with the vlogs the last few weeks. Today, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be giving you a little behind the scenes look of what I'm going to be doing on a band photo shoot. Now the last photo shoot I did, if you watched that video, was with a rock band, hard rock band, and that was at an abandoned military base, which was super, super cool. Now this week I'm shooting a solo artist, so not a band, just one person, and that is a country singer called Georgia Nevada. She's amazing, a good friend of mine. I used to play guitar for for her as well, which was awesome. I really love shooting bands and musicians, particularly live music. Coming from a musician myself, you know, I've got guitars in every corner of this studio, so yeah, music is always going to be and always has been a huge part of my life. And the fact that I can implement this into photography and creating is even better. It's, on, it's an on the road vlog again today. Another on the road vlog, which is sick. So I'm gonna chill at the office for a little bit, get some camera batteries charged and, and get everything I need in the camera bag. Yeah, I probably should have packed it up before, but last night I was doing a wedding. So yeah, I'm going from one job to the other. So it's, it's been a little bit hectic over here at Connorwell's HQ of recent, which is good. We like that. So I'm gonna calm for a bit, chill, and make sure that I've got everything I need in my camera bag ready for the shoot and ready for the vlog as well to take you guys behind the scenes. <laughs> I've got to be honest, I spent half of that time when I should be packing my camera bag scrolling through TikTok. I've recently started posting on TikTok. Link in the description if you want to follow me, and oh my god, it is addictive, like seriously addictive. It's not even funny anymore, it's so bad. I need to get off TikTok, Jesus Christ. All right, we did it, camera bag's packed. So I've got first camera body, this one's gonna be for photos, that's the 70 to 200. I've got a 24 to 105 in there, that's probably the one I'm gonna use the most. Got a 50 mil in here. Right, the camera bag is all packed, we got that here, all good to go. Camera batteries are all charged, we're gonna stop off for some fuel. And also I've started drinking coffee now as well. Only like lattes, caramel lattes, so I'm gonna get a coffee for the road. The photo shoot itself is in Surrey on this sort of barn, and on this farm sort of thing, which is pretty fitting for a country music video. Also, yeah, it's on a music video set, which is pretty cool. So very, very exciting. So yeah, let's 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 hit the road. <laughs> Stuck in traffic, I hate traffic, but that is why I always leave an hour early. Always oh, moving. Right, I have just arrived on set. I am here before everybody else, as per usual. Traffic was good, that or I just drive fast. And honestly, this is the most country looking place I have ever seen. Hey for days, hey for days. There's like barn doors everywhere. I'm currently standing on these like wooden, wooden stumps. Um, apparently there's gonna be a bonfire on this music video shoot as well today, which is gonna look totally sick. So buzzing for that. So um, yeah, I'm gonna look around for some locations to, to film. Screw it, let's cue some B-roll. We'll cue some country looking B-roll of this rundown barn looking thing. Right, so photo-wise, I think I've scattered out quite a few locations. I want to get some shots of Georgia sort of on these hay bales, which is currently what the camera is perched up on at the moment. There's some more behind me, There's some over there, so I'll get some over there with like guitar and stuff. It's good to have sort of maybe like five or six sort of locations in mind um, when you're on set for, for doing some photos. And particularly for these photos as well, because these photos ideally are going to be for the single album artwork cover. So that's going to be on Spotify, iTunes, and all those sorts of places. And that'll be the photo you see when you stream that song. So yeah, this is going to be a really, really cool shoot. And yeah, just waiting for them to arrive now, which is uh, which is always fun. Mm, so obviously it's not put together yet, but that's our Ursa. Nice. And then... This is our pocket. Ooh. Which is a stunning camera. She is. And it's very big when it, you put everything on it. 
when it's all rigged up. Yeah, it's all rigged. So whilst the crew and everybody were getting all the lights and cameras and everything set up, they had a coffee machine there. It was mad. So much equipment. It was time for me to get ready for the photo shoot. So I had to get all of my lenses ready. Georgia and I started discussing outfits and accessories to go with the shoot. And this was the first location. And I am going to attempt right here to jump up the bale. And I did it. Big win. The gym is working for me. Now when you're doing a photo shoot, most of the time the subject that you're shooting may not know how to pose and what to do. So it is incredibly important to give the model and the talent some instructions like this. Yeah, if you pull it sort of back, that's him. You can show up the uh, earrings and necklace and all that jazz. It's also really important to show whoever you're shooting for the photos after you've done them. A lot of these, these are cool. Right, we'll see you in a bit. I love that. Then what we'll do, we'll get some with that as the background. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, so if you do sort of do that like, hand on the hat again. Oh, nice. Bit of Elvis. Um, if you go back just a touch. Perfect. Amazing. You sort of look off to that direction there. Amazing. And then sort of eyes back to me. Class, this is country. <laughs> it counts. But does it suit? Oh. Draws a line. Draws, draws a line there. <laughs> Lovely. If you do the shoulders up, that can drop again. Nice one. So that's two locations shot at. We're now moving on to our third location. We found this really, really cool light tunnel that had some really nice natural light and skylights that were all broken up and battered. And that worked really well for this shoot. Awesome, if you put, sort of put hat, uh, the hat up towards you. Perfect. And then maybe on your head, but sort of tip it. I guess what Michael Jackson's done on this. <laughs> yeah, that's it, perfect. Right, so moving on to our fourth location of the day, we found this really old abandoned trailer looking thing and Georgia was incredibly brave to jump onto it and we got some shots there. As you can see, the roof was all sort of battered up and there was light seeping through, so it made some really, really nice natural backlight. waiting for the last outfit to arrive and then that is the photo shoot done and then I'm going to be heading home. It's really really cool, there is so much equipment here at this uh, this video shoot. There's lights, there's reflectors, there's a black couple of black magic cameras. It's so sick, really really cool. So shooting all of these images I decided to keep the camera set up really basic. The only lens I actually used for these photos was the 50mm f1.8 but because this is a Canon M50 I had to put a speed booster on it and turned it into a 50mm 1.2. So now moving on to our final setup of the day and we shot with this beautiful Harley Davidson. It was incredible. I've always wanted to shoot with motorbikes and this was amazing. So here's some of the shots we got from that section of the shoot. It's probably a good thing I'm not getting right now. Yeah, can you imagine the scratches? Right, that is the shoot done, completed, done. Now I'm gonna go home and edit. It was a long day, shoot done, happy days. I'm gonna go home and edit these photos and get some rest. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in a bit. Have a good one, bye.